My friends, I've made my way to wild and wonderful West Virginia. They call it the Mountain State, and it is a beaut. I'm actually really blown away how beautiful this place is. You know, you, know, you hear about West Virginia, not always the best things, but then you're here and it's like, wow, this is all beautiful and amazing. And you know, maybe the van won't have wheels when I come back, uh, when we're done with the ride, but huh, it's pretty amazing. West Virginia became a state during the Civil War. Nevada also became a state during the Civil War. So Virginia seceded from the United States and joined the Confederacy. And then a bunch of counties within Virginia were like, no, we're gonna secede from the Confederacy and join the United States. Broken glass, watch out for the broken glass. Oh. West Virginia, if you look at it on the map, is so interesting. It's got these tentacles. It's bordered by a ton of weird different states. So you got Pennsylvania, Maryland, Virginia, Kentucky, Ohio. It's, it's not the Midwest, it's not the East, it's not the South, it's kind of its own little thing. It's uh, Appalachia. This is also the first place I've been in the whole United States where there's a Walmart, there's fast food places, there's car dealerships but the cell service is not, like it's only Verizon to be able to make a phone call. There's no 3G, there's no LTE. Very suspicious. Uh, maybe AT&T or whatever US cellular has a stranglehold on this area, or my phone is about to die and uh, I'm gonna be very sad. The ride I'm doing today is in Northeast West Virginia <laughs> on the North Mountain Trail. It's at the very tippy top of the North Mountain Trail. This is a 24 mile trail that you can do a point to point shuttle on, but I found on MTB Project, someone had listed out a loop. It's only a seven mile loop, but I think we're gonna be able to add on a couple miles once we get to the ridge line. Maybe we could go back a little bit and then come back down. Supposed to be some really crazy rugged rocky terrain, which is all I'm looking for right now. If I'm gonna go do these rides with less guiding and less people telling me what to do, I'm just gonna look for the hardest rides I can find and uh, get my jubilees tingled. I'll tell you what, my favorite new addition to the van is definitely my fan. This is like a little $20 Costco fan. And I just turn this on at night just to have noise, just to have the white noise. Cause I'm usually sleeping in Walmart parking lots if I'm not at a nice campground. So with the Walmart parking lot, there's just always stuff going on. There's always like noises and you're just like, uh, it can almost be too quiet when it's, when you're, cause then you get one little sound and it wakes you up. But you get the fan going, it's just this perfect white noise, keeps it cool. Oh, I feel like I've discovered something brand new that no one knows. I still don't have a name for my bike. I. I Maybe I had one at, at some point, but not anything that actually sticks. I love names. I always think in Game of Thrones, they always have names for all the swords and all the things, and it's so cool. I am creatively bankrupt. Okay, we are starting out. I got my buddy Dan with me. I roped him in hey, as well. And we actually called a little bit of an audible. The original ride was probably only gonna be seven miles or eight miles, but I see that if we go up a little bit further, Old smoke hole road will get us to another way to get up on the ridge. So we're gonna do that. We got water, we got time, we got energy. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so that was about 48 minutes on the road, uh, six and a half miles. Very good, some good gradual climbing, but uh, it made us work for it. Yeah. Saw a couple deer, very cool. So now Sweet. we're gonna be heading up even more. All right, it got a little thick. We got distracted. We were talking. <laughs> Socializing distance. Yeah. It's a self-guided disaster. I'm out of water, I'm out of food. We're screwed. No. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling good, still feeling good. Okay, we're on the trail now. We got rocks, we got grass. We saw a guy come by us. I don't know if we both imagined that or not, but <laughs> we saw a hiker. We haven't sung country roads one time yet. West Virginia, mountain mama. This is so beautiful. Reminds me of Spain. Reminds me of the Adirondacks as well. Loamy rocks. The pine trees have done just enough to force their way in and grow. We're close to the top, Dan. I can feel it. Look over on that side, there's nothing. We have made it to North Fork Mountain. And we that, yeah, we had this back this way. If you climb this, it's very easy to miss this little right turn. We're on the ridge. 
Oh, yeah. That's cool. Dan's been trying to get in 100 mile weeks. Yeah. More than, more than I. <laughs> Makes him go fast. Oh, man. What a difference. <laughs> I'm going to enter this thing into a single track beauty contest. <laughs> Miss West Virginia. This trail is so beautiful. <laughs> Brings a tear to my eye. Oh, that and how hard it is. Into the wildfire zone. Whoa, there's a log there. Gloves should be on. Oh, no. Ah, I'm still in it. Oh, no foot down. Oh, ah, oh. Dan got it. Uh oh, he got caught by the blackberry bush. Oh, oh. Yeah, there's a theory that blackberry bushes are carnivorous. I believe it. And that sheep and other animals with big oh, really? hair get stuck they can't get out huh. they die and they fertilize the ground wow. <sighs> obviously they don't need any fertilization blackberries grow everywhere <laughs> anywhere oh put a dead sheep under them who knows what would happen <laughs> needless to say dan got a little messed up definitely paid in pleasure <laughs> perhaps it's time to put on my gloves <laughs> yeah <laughs> through the thickness <laughs> oh. oh, that's cool. Ooh. <laughs> oh. oh man, the sight lines are so hectic. Oh, the knee pads should be on, but they're around my ankles. Uh-oh. <laughs> Tuck and roll. Huh. Soft landing. Oh. Yeah, that's uh, the old slow speed. Yeah. Derailer yeah. killer. Yeah, that's one of those you put your foot out. Exa and there's and nothing there. No! Oh, when you went down? Because I didn't check. I think this is a spot. Is there blood? Yeah, follow the blood trail. Oh. It's somebody else's phone. Oh, shit. Keep it. Keep it. <laughs> that Apple Watch, that's pretty good, that little feature. Find my phone. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, the motto of the state is wild and wonderful. Yeah. It's paying off. Just a couple sticks to the face. Okay, so this is where we would have climbed up. So now we're gonna hang left. Nice. I'm so glad we went further. Yeah, that was extra bonus. Fantastic. Oh, Woo. Impressive. Woo. Oh my goodness. Ah. Ah. Damn. There's not many people that could blow through that Woo. like you just did. Pleasure. Oh, it's the only way to go. 
Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, same thing. Oh, I can't. You're a monster. I've given up. Got our Sasquatch. Uh, mating call is going. Uh, oh, no problem. Easy. Uh, take the fast way down. Uh, it's funny because this trail, you know, probably a single black diamond type of trail, but when you add in the mileage that you have to do and the heat and the remoteness, that's when it's like, yeah, hey, maybe it is a double black. are more than just uh, the trail conditions and the amount of features <laughs> just perfect hesitated just enough nice man whoa there we go nice dislodging rocks perfect I hear this is typical West Virginia. Just hardcore, rocky. Yeah. <laughs> the real deal. Well timed. <laughs> wow. Thanks, bro. Yeah. We're good. Now we have evidence that it's a hard trail. Those kind of falls are just, they're a big nothing until there's a stick sticking out and some old stump. And then it's like, oh man, all your weight coming down like that is very bad. Oh. It's double black now, boys. Oh, whether you like it or not. Runaway train, yeah. Oh, get the bike around, not quite, yes. That's a tough one. Good luck, Dan. I'll see you at the car. <laughs> oh yeah, work in the earth. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> that was a tough one. Whew. Regroup, regroup. <laughs> oh, he's down. <laughs> All that downhill moments. <laughs> oh, don't be. That thing was wicked. I mean, I was stopped. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah. That's so cool. I was like, I'm gonna take a little break. Yeah. Down. Yeah, we got, we got a little break spot right here, actually. Dude, let the Ibis Ripmo do its job. Don't overthink it. Quality and quantity. It's all you ever ask for. Woo. Bone shaker. Oh. oh, that's tight. That's tight. Super tight. Super tight. <laughs> you got it. I'll let you go. God, that's scary. I actually got my pinky pretty good. Yikes. Dan has got the, the power jets on. <laughs> oh, the only way to slow you down. Oh, man. Oh, man. That was fun. Yeah. Oh, breakneck backcountry bucket list ride. Big time.
thank you for whoever put this on MTV Project. Oh my God. Oh, in control. <laughs> there we are. Wow. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. <laughs> Damn. That was awesome. That was like one of the best ever. Yeah. You guys should get some bikes. <laughs> Yeah. That running thing's a waste of time. To say I was blown away would be uh, just, I don't have the words. It was really quite amazing. And uh, it's the best when you have these low expectations and then something blows you away. And now I've kind of built it up so anybody yeah. else that comes back and does it might be like, oh, and, that was And whenever that Brian hangs out with me, he always has low expectations. So, <laughs> so you got to keep them <laughs> rock bottom. <laughs> so we exceeded those a little bit. <laughs> we did, we did. That was, that was good. I, what else is hiding in West Virginia? That's the question. I'm so fired up right now. <laughs> that was so good. The Mountain State, oh. No more blue squares, death to blue squares, black diamond trails only from here on out. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> I'll try my best though. <laughs> Thanks for watching you guys. But wait, there's more. The next day we went to Washington DC with Dan and his wife, Anna. We got to ride around and see most of the monuments, all the memorials. There was very, very few people out. It was just the perfect situation. Riding around that place on bikes is so awesome. I've done it, you know, 10, 12 years ago, walking around. And when you're walking around, you just get so worn out. But seeing the National Mall, going to the Lincoln Memorial, the Washington Monument, Jefferson Memorial, like, oh, it's so cool going up on Capitol Hill and like, oh, wow, okay, there's the Senate, there's the House, this is where, oh, this is where, oh, this is where the inauguration is, this is where the President gives his speech when he's inaugurated, and then seeing the Supreme Court. Just, I highly, highly recommend it. Get a bike. We parked next to the East Potomac Tennis Center. And if you can find a parking spot there and you have your bike, it is perfecto to get out and go ride around and see so much. We only scratched the surface and we still did nine miles and it was awesome. Big thank you to Dan and Anna. It was so fun. Ah, West Virginia, so good. Also cool to get DC in the mix. Thanks for watching you guys. I'll see you on the trail. Thank you.